Hello everyone, this is Ambi again. Today we will talk about another PowerShell topic that will be, let's say, PowerShell quotes, characters, and uh, delimiters. Mainly quotes, characters. So let us launch our PowerShell IC here. Uh, well, just the PowerShell 6. Just to make sure, PS version table, VR6. Let's clear the screen. So oh, um, let's say I say name equals MB and then I type name. Okay, it prints out the name. Uh, what if I type double quotes and then name? Okay, that's great. But if I put the same variable in single quotes, it will cancel out the variable name and it will print it exactly what it is inside the single quotes. Let's make it interesting. You have double quotes here. Let's put this double quotes inside. So inside we have single quotes. So this doesn't give anything if I put double quotes around it, right? So whatever, whatever that you put uh, within double quotes, takes variables, considers, it is considerate of all the symbols whatever that you put uh, inside of single quotes is not. So this is dollar sign name is inside of single quotes, but the last enclosure is double quotes. So that kind of overrules. So let us do again. So whatever encloses at the end overrules whatever that is inside. Is that right? Let's see, we will come to know. Yep. So since a single quote encloses everything, the characteristics of that applies to everything that it encloses. So I'm the owner of the house, whatever that I say overrules everyone else. Like that, okay? So where can this be useful? Here is an example. The value of I will give a space plus that is called string, uh, string concatenation plus then is name what happened the value of dollar sign name is uh, well let me give a space here then yep the value of dollar sign name is umbi Right, this is the way that you can use it. Or if you don't want to use your single creations. Yeah. Now it came without that quotes. The easier way of doing it is is the value of the sign name is name name. Hmm, well, it said the value of MB. So what I can do here is I can put a backtick that is your key next to the on your if you are if you are using a QWERTY keyboard, that is the key next to number one. Let's look at some let's look at my favorite. So backtick, since we're talking about backtick, that is the key next to uh, the one key on the keyboard or the key above the tab key the key near to Q, back tick A. Did you hear that sound? Back tick A stands for bell. So let's say you're writing a script or something and you want to uh, alert the user of something, so you can do that. So which, uh, can it be used like this? Hello world. And I'll do like this. Yes, right? So when I say hello world, a little sound makes sense, right? Um, let's use the same thing again. Hello. Hello world. Again. Now this time I'm gonna put here again back tick. 
to n. So hello world. So whatever I put back tick in, that means it's a new line. What if I put f? Well, that is for the printer output. We don't, nobody uses printer no more. Paperless world. The R stands for the enter key or the return. So what happens is whatever that you typed before that, it's like gone. Uh, if it's just one string. So what you can do is you can say hello uh, plus then this back tick R world. Right? It's still printing just the world because it returned. That's a return carriage. Uh, you can combine both of them. Hmm. Let's interrupt this. Click N. Write hello world. A new line and I know uh, return carriage. What if you want to use horizontal tab? That is just a tab. Here I will say backtick T. So it use a tab. Let's say you're typing something and uh, you type tab and it creates a space there, right? The same thing. What if you want to use vertical tab instead of horizontal tab? Say backtick V. Well, it's not showing up properly here. Let's go here to Visual Studio just to show that you do. Know, you can skip that if you like. I will say. Hello, Lactic V World. Right, it instead of horizontal tab, it is now a vertical tab. So T that is horizontal tab. Okay, hmm. it wanna update. Okay, please go ahead and update. Then what else we wanted to? I wanted to talk about hmm well one last thing uh we'll fix it okay uh echo echo dollar sign name uh my name comes out because value of name is this let me clear the screen for you so name echo dollar sign name then say i will say this the value of name is mb makes sense so it's not printing because this is a comment hashtag or the hash sign is comment if you want to escape that character now see what happened uh, it printed all of them well, echo is an alias for the right host rather so now you see the entire line so this is about the codes characters and delimiters or what are delimiters well in powershell the delimiters are space uh, uh, they are the delimiters and we will explore them when we are covering or doing some uh, tasks with powershell like dealing with let's say PSV file, Excel, are writing, reading to and from a text file. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.